Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fourth video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the day 14 days. For today's fourth video, day 10 will take us to the 12th of June and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. Maybe we'll try in a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for July. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just say it's been a busy day at Gow's Weathers today. We started off with 6am UK weather forecast. We also released Jeremy Friday. And if that wasn't enough, wasn't there's a little bonus video as well. Looking at uh, the weather, possibly, for Le Mans and also Download Festival. So uh, check out that video if you're interested in what weather may do for those two events. Please like, share, subscribe on videos. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. Now, we're still uh, running our charity uh, event for Rainbows Hospice. They provide vital care for baby children and young people in the East Midlands uh, region. They're based in Loughborough, I mean, Northamptonshire, but they are like my local children's hospital. And uh, we've been raising money and awareness for Rainbows. So if you're interested in the work that Rainbows do, providing this amazing care for these young people, then uh, check out the link in the description to Rainbow's Hospice. Now, the Just Giving page is up to 1,833, an absolutely incredible and phenomenal amount of money. Thank you so much to everyone who has donated and supported this. Unbelievable. Thank you so much. I'm going to try and get this to 2K, so I'm going to keep plugging at it in the next week or two, if you would like to give a donation and help get our Just Giving page for Rainbows Hospice to £2,000, then uh, please can you, um, you know, uh, give a donation. Tell friends and family about the work that Rainbows do, providing this vital care for children, babies and young people. And uh, and let's see if we can get this to uh, 2K. Thank you so much, everybody. Unbelievable. Wow, wow, wow. What a... What a what a community we've got. Absolutely incredible. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, right, OK, let's start the video there. We're going to begin with Central England temperatures. So we have a seating uh, for June, just for the first day, uh, sitting at 12.8, which is actually 1.3 degrees below average. Good gracious. It was quite chilly, it was quite chilly yesterday under very gloomy skies, but it's much brighter, much warmer in the uh, Midlands today, so I reckon that will tick up tomorrow. But for the first day, we came out 1.3 degrees below average. Of course, confirmation that May came out at 12.5, which is 1.4 degrees above the 61 to 19.90 average. It will be interesting to see where June ends up. Of course, we've got a long way to go. Did you see Tony Scully's uh, June and summer forecast yesterday? That was released at 7pm yesterday evening. If you haven't seen it yet, then you can catch up. The video is uh, is on the YouTube channel, so you can watch it at, at, at any time you would like. Interesting forecast from Terry. Uh, right, these are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles the next couple of weeks. The red line is my 30 year upper air temperature average for Castle Donington. Um, so of course we have got Downlow coming up at Donington, Castle Donington, um, next week actually. I'm going from the 8th to the 11th. We did the update for Download Festival, um, earlier on today, as I said. So I thought we'd have a look at Castle Donington for, for this section of video. This, this was suggested by a good friend, Steffi, actually. Steffi, Steffi suggested this. Oh dear, I'm still not very good by S's. <laughs> right, so anyway, these are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. It looks slightly above average from start to finish, doesn't it? Nothing spectacularly hot coming up. So I want to outline members here but again the upper air temperature close to 15 degrees. That 850 hk, but those are outliers, not well supported. Just gener generally look solidly warmer than normal, solidly warm or very warm, right way through the first half up to the middle part of June. Um, later on, perhaps a few cooler outliers are beginning to appear, including, including the uh, GFS midnight operation run. That's a thick green line just there. So we might get a little bit of a cooling trend after mid-month, but overall it looks pretty solidly warmer than normal for the, for the next uh, week or to 10 days. Anyway, precipitation-wise, lots of dry weather over the next week to 10 days as well. Just starting to turn a little bit more unsettled around the middle of the month and into the second half of the month, perhaps. So tomorrow, 
a few precipitation spikes appearing then. So possibly around mid-month we might see a change, something a little bit more showery. But certainly the next 10 days anyway, the weather is set uh, as high pressure domination. Temperature anomalies from the 2nd of of June, a little bit below average for England Wales, a little bit above average for Scotland and Ireland. I assume that is going because we're probably going to bring in bring in more cloud from up the North Sea with the east north east winds um, next week, maybe. And precipitation anomalies from the second temperature, they're coming out solidly drier than normal. The latest wind from, from Earth, NordSchool.net, shows that winds uh, are still coming in from an east north easterly direction. However, we are, um, you know, drying out the air a little bit, so we have broken up a lot of the crowd today, but we had yesterday, hence there's much more in the way of sunshine. The actual area of high pressure itself is sort of out to the northwest of the country and ridging in uh, across Scotland, so quite a lot of high pressure in the North Atlantic. Right, let's go through the chart data. Then. This is how latest you can get your run. Lots midnight on Monday under a large area of high pressure into next week or through next week. High pressure is maintained throughout. That gets us to this time next week, to Friday, <coughs> excuse me, 9th of June, and still with that area of high pressure in command. Icon, again, with that big area of high pressure dominating throughout next week, bringing loads of dry weather with it all the way up to next Friday. We're high and dry, the GFS big night run. Again, no change, no deviation. High pressure is dominating weather right up to around uh, next weekend. Just maybe by day 10, we start to bring in a little bit more of a northeasterly flow and possibly lower the heights a little bit. So possibly beginning to turn a bit more showery by Monday the 12th of June, day 10. And the extended range, we start to turn uh, a little bit more unsettled, actually. Just lowering the heights day by day. Not necessarily low pressure, even right at the very end of the midnight run. It gets us to the 18th of June. It's a long way out, 384 hours away. But you see how the height just gradually lower as we go through that middle part of June. So not turning particularly unsettled, but turning more showering. But GFS 6Z, again, showing that high pressure dominating throughout next week, bringing lots of dry Fine weather all the way up to day 10. The high pressure is maintained actually right up to the middle part of that. Just right at the very end of the sixth the high pressure begins to pull away from us, allowing something a little bit cooler and more showering coming from the uh, northwest. Again, that's the 18th of June. But, you know, certainly within the 10 day time frame, high pressure is well and truly in control. If you enjoyed the video, please give you a like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't get too friends about Gals Web We thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. We need to put on around 40, less than 40, I think, subscribers to get ourselves to 15.9k. We are getting closer and closer and closer to 16,000 subscribers. If you could uh, give us a sub and tell your friends and family to subscribe, we, it would be amazing if, if you could do that. Thank you so much. And don't forget to tell your friends about Rainbow's Hospice and the vital work they do providing uh, vital care for babies, children and young people with life-limiting and terminal conditions. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, GM once more. That high pressure right over top of the country throughout next week, bringing loads of dry fine and warm weather with it all the way up to day 10 we are high and dry the gm is an absolute high pressure fest today and then the ecm wf once more with that high pressure in command throughout most of next week all of next week dominated by high pressure there's nothing more to, to say really up to the 12th of june that high pressure just um continues goodness gracious me this is my precipitation forecast, but it's on my ECM run from Tometeo.com. I'll rattle through because look at this. There's no precipitation to talk of in the next 10 days. It's absolutely incredible, isn't it? Well, well, well. Okay, this is the option of the table within the ECM ensemble today for day 10. From the Icelandic Met Office, it gets us to the 12th of June. 51 out of 51 members of the ECM ensemble, all of them, with high pressure over country and out into the North Atlantic, most dry 
sign conditions and two in time. These are the options that we've got. Gets to the 17th of June. 20 members of the ECM ensembles have a low pressure into the north and west Europe. High pressure is out in the Atlantic. So that is a change. That's cooler and also more unsettled. Certainly more showery anyway. 16 with high pressure again around Greenland and in the North Atlantic. Reaching into the UK and Ireland but weakening. The trough of low pressure is in over Scandinavia, and then 15 with high pressure right over top of the country. So, obviously, that's the most settled option. That's the most unsettled option, and this one is somewhere in between. In between. We may see a transition to something a little bit cooler and more showery by the middle of June, but um, as you can see there, obviously, it, it, it is by no means uh, a done deal that that is what is going to happen, and we could keep high pressure in situ over the country, even into the second half of the month. Right, CFSB2 finally for July. Here we go, then. First time this, uh, this year. So, um, this is the latest 700 millibar height anomaly for July. Then be changed daily. So, uh, CFS is going for high pressure above average heights over and to the east of the country. Come over here and see the reach there. Low pressure in the Atlantic. It doesn't look all that far away from the pattern we had last, last July. Um, to be honest, and would we'll bring the wind up from a southerly or southeasterly direction, which, of course, in July is going to be a very warm or possibly even a hot wind direction. So the temperature anomaly here is being forecast to be significantly above average in most deeper red shadings, which is like 2 to 3 degrees above normal. Also looks a little bit on the wet side as well. So a hot, volatile month, I think, being predicted there by uh, the CFS. The trough of low in the Atlantic will provide the energy and uh, the high pressure, the ridge, will provide the southerly winds. So uh, it could all go bang <laughs> in uh, July. And uh, maybe we'll have more heat spikes and whatnot. Uh, we shall see. Time will tell. It's only the opening salvo for uh, from a CFS for July. So, as I say, time will tell. Right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, ouch. If you enjoyed the video, please, please do you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody. Give me that. Drop a comment. Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weather. It's amazing. It's incredible. Thank you so much, everybody. Give me that. Make sure you tell your friends and family about Rainbow's Hospice. They provide vital care for babies, children, and young people with life limiting and terminal conditions in the East Midlands region. They don't just provide the care in the hospice, they take the hospice to the home and to the hospital environment as well, providing one on one care in wherever setting they are needed. Um, and they do amazing work. If you could afford to give a donation to Rainbow's Hospice and get us or help get us to uh, 2K. On our Just Giving page. That would be absolutely incredible. And we thank you so much everybody. For doing that. Right I shall just tell you what's coming up. Over the weekend. So tomorrow we're going to have a 6am UK weather forecast. We will have the ECM WF 42 day. Slash. Six week look ahead. We'll have a weekend forecast. That's back uh, this week. And also 10 14 down. And then on Sunday. 6am UK weather forecast. There's going to be the first update for autumn. 2023 autumn updates are beginning. The autumn countdown will get underway at uh, the weekend on Sunday. Can you believe that? Goodness gracious. And um, also a day to 14 day. So lots and lots coming up over the weekend. Please keep checking back to the channel for more. But uh, for this one and for today's videos, that's all for now. And thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Friday and bye for now.